get ready with me for my birthday dinner. <sighs> Just kidding. I am gonna get ready though, and I've been getting a lot of questions about this natural makeup look that I've been doing recently, so I thought I would show you guys how I do it. Starting off with my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter just to add a little bit of glow to the skin. When it comes to my natural makeup looks, I don't wear foundation, but I do like to add a little bit of something. Just blending it out using a beauty sponge. Look at how pretty and radiant it makes my skin look. I'm obsessed. On good skin days, I would leave it like this, but I am breaking out right now in a couple of different areas, which is super annoying, but happens to everybody. So I'm just gonna cover that up with a tiny little bit of concealer. Next, I'm just going in and creating some faux freckles. You guys know how obsessed with these I am. I've been doing them for years now. This is actually a lab sample of a product that I'm working on for my makeup brand, but there's a bunch of other products out there. You can also, of course, just use like a brow pencil or a brow marker to achieve the same effect. Just make sure you're putting them on randomly and really doing a good job of blending them out or they'll look like the monkey pox. If you have a pimple, just turn it into a freckle. Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of color to my skin using one of my Fenty Beauty contour sticks. I'm just going to tap the end of my sponge onto here and then just go right in on my face into the areas that I would normally contour. Cute. Same thing with blush. These are the Kylie Glow Balms. This is in the color Doing the Most. These do not have the most pigmentation, but they do add a lot of glow, which is, oh my God, so pretty. I love these. Next, I'm gonna fluff up my eyebrows using the Benefit 24 Hour Setter. I am just going to carefully extend the tails with a light brown brow marker. Definitely not trying to go crazy here. Just adding a little bit of extra dimension. Ooh, dimension. <laughs> Now, the most important part of this makeup look is the lashes that I have been getting so many questions about them. They are not extensions, and I'm going to show you guys my little hack that I've been doing. First, I'm just going to give them a good curl, and then I'm just applying one coat of mascara. I'm not going crazy. I'm not going clumpy. The secret are these individual little lash spikes. I got mine from the Creme Shop. I absolutely love the brand, and I'm going to make DIY lash extensions. I'm just going to apply a little bit of glue and then dip the lashes in and glue them on. I'm going to go short, medium, long, medium, medium. Short, medium long, the medium, final medium, and then some mascara. I match the other eye and look at how cute they look. Our last step is going to be some lip oil. And this is our finalized no makeup makeup look. What do you guys think?